Hello viewers and welcome back to Freak Out Plays The Binding of Isaac. Uh, if you watched the last run, we had a great run. We got a bunch of uh, power-ups and we had uh, technology, beat mom pretty handily. Unlocked a couple of characters. Uh, as you can see here, we unlocked a few things on the collection screen. And we unlocked no challenges. Well, all the challenges are ready to go. We unlocked two characters. We unlocked Kane and Eve. So I figure what I'm going to do here for my second run through is I'm just going to random. Ah, uh, and we got Eve. Eve is probably my least favorite character in this game. Her tier power is real bad, and all her special abilities revolve around her getting hit. So this is going to be an interesting run. So our objectives here, we're going to try and beat Mom again. I'm going to try and unlock as many... Ah, as you can see there, yeah, when you get hit, it summons dead bird. Dead bird usually goes around and attacks things in the level, but his aggro range is real small. Get him attacking that spider, and we're all set. He only lasts for one room, so as soon as we go through this door, he disappears. Not a great power up to start with, but whatever. We'll roll with it. Okay, a couple more spiders. Get a key. Boss room is up top here, and as you can see, Back in this room, we've got the shop to the right. We have no money, so there's no point. And we've got a curse room down below. Curse room will cost us a heart, so we'll think about going into that. Kill this boil before it summons any spiders. Go get our free item. And it's the Spelunker hat. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we got, um, got the x-ray goggles. Blunker hat is not as good as the x-ray goggles because it shows you where the secret rooms are but you still need a bomb to get into them. So you can see we've got the two secret rooms down below here but we don't have any bombs so we can't get into them. Alright, well let's just go fight the boss here. Alright, our first boss is the Duke of Flies. The Duke of Flies is basically an aircraft carrier. He has no direct attacks but he summons all kinds of flies. Eve, with her low tier rate and low damage, has a bit of trouble with this stuff, but we'll do the best we can here. Now, Eve's other power-up that she starts with is um, the ability to do more damage when she's down to half a red heart. So what that means, it's called Curse State. You move faster, you do way more damage when you have only half a heart left. What we ideally want to do here is get her down to half a heart and get a bunch of spirit hearts so that we can do a lot more damage and move a lot faster. But we haven't seen any spirit hearts yet, so we'll basically cross that bridge when we come to it. We're kind of dealing with what we got right now. We'll just finish off Dookie here. And mop up the rest of the flies. This is going to be ugly. Okay. Ah, yeah, took a hit. Go get him, dead bird. Yeah, you can see his aggro range is pretty pathetic. And we got health up. Breakfast. That's good. What we'll do now, I think, is we'll go check out the curse room. I'll show you how those work. We have enough hearts to make that work now, so... Okay, two red chests. Red chests can have bad things or good things in them. That one has bombs. And this one has spirit hearts. Okay, so we'll leave one of those there. The reason why is I want to go into the secret room. Should have left them both there actually, but I accidentally picked the one up. Okay, well we got six cents out of it. That's better than a slap in the face with a wet noodle. Grab that spirit heart. Lose half of it getting out of the room. And I believe we will carry on to the next level. So, after the first floor, we're up one red heart and the Spelunker hat. So you can see we know where the special secret room is. It's over on this side, but we don't have any bombs to crack it open yet, so we gotta just carry on. Okay, kill these flies. And then we'll deal with the guy in the middle. Oh god, her shot power is so weak. I really don't like Eve. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Okay, and there's the special, or the secret room rather. Again, we have no bombs, so we can't get into it. And there's a pill in the middle that we can't get to either. Arcade down below, we might come back to that. 
I spend a lot more time in the arcades when I'm not recording. I just feel like you probably don't want to watch me play slot machines for 20 minutes. Oh, but we have a boss trap room. Oh, God, that was dumb. Okay. Gotta focus here. Um, we have a boss trap room up top here. Now, what this means is we can only get in here when we have one heart. We can use the, uh, whatchamacallit room, the uh, arcade here to get down to one heart. There's a blood bank in here, so what we'll do is we'll juice ourselves on this. And we're down to one heart. Now, I want to show you something else here. This is Eve's other power. When you go down to half a heart, boom. What a horrible night to have a curse. Now, you can see that turns our tears red. We move a little faster and we look all scary. Um, okay. I'm going to grab the half heart. That'll take us out of curse state. But I don't really like running around with with no buffer. Actually, let me think about this. I think what I'll do, actually, is I'll go down to Curse State and see if I can't rack up some Spirit Hearts. Well, let's, let's see if we can get the Spirit Hearts first. Come on. The Fortune Teller Machine will sometimes spit out Spirit Hearts. Nope. Come on. Come on. Spirit Hearts don't count for the Boss Trap Room, as long as you're below her. One full, or as long as you're at one full heart or lower, doesn't matter how many spirit hearts you've got, it'll still let you in. Alright, tower card, don't like that one. Basically spawns a bunch of stuff around the room that can kill you. Two of diamonds, that doubles our money. Yeah, we got nothing. Damn. Okay, well let's try the boss trap room. We might have just screwed ourselves there, but we'll see. Ooh, squeezy. That's a good one. Two spirit hearts, tears up. Now we have to fight two bosses. First one is Monstro. Ugh. Tears. The damage she does is just pathetic here. You can see Monstro's only down to a third life so far. This is going to take us a while. Shots. Try to bait out this jump attack. It's the easiest one to dodge. Now he can end our run in one hit here. The big shots that he that he fires can do a whole heart of damage. So, but we got the spirit hearts, so we should be fine. Just have to pay attention to our dodging. After we kill him, we'll fight Larry Jr. Just about dead. Come on. Die. Okay, there we go. Larry Jr. right after him. Three very small Larry Juniors. Just keep doing damage to these guys. Oh, God. I hate Eve. So little damage. Turn them down. Concentrate on not getting hit. Try to preserve those spirit hearts, because I'm going to try and run around in permanent curse state after this. Okay, there we go. Alright. Yeah. Let's go juice ourselves one more time. Okay, there we go. Curse state, a couple more pennies. Now the spirit hearts will keep us so that we don't necessarily have to get red hearts to keep ourselves alive. We won't get killed in one hit. But we do get the benefit of the extra power. I really wish I had a bomb so I could open that tinted rock. Maybe we'll get one on this room, who knows. Come on. Heads off these guys, finish them off. Another key. Ugh, my reflection. This is, without a doubt, one of the worst power-ups in the game. And the only reason I'm picking it up here is to show you how it works. Now, as you can see, our shots go out a certain distance and then come back. Not a big fan of this power-up. 
All right, let's explore out the rest of the level, see what we can see. I like to call these guys test tube babies. Harder to kill now because our shots don't go as far. Half of their range is taken up by the return path. Oh, we picked up the heart. Why did I do that? Alright, well, we may as well go juice ourselves some more. Don't have enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Alright, well, yeah, I'm gonna go juice myself back down to half a heart here. I'm gonna try and run in permanent curse state. If we can. Oh, there we go. Unlock mom's pill bottle. And we're back into curse. Alright, let's see if we can get some bombs from the, uh, the shell game here. And you can see any damage will trigger that dead bird to happen, even if we're just using the, the blood bank. We have a bunch of stuff that we need bombs for. This guy can spit them out. Come on. Come on, just give us a bomb. Don't want hearts. Don't want flies. Oh, I should use my two diamonds card. I'm a dummy. Okay, maybe I will after this. Now, as you can see, even if you go above a heart in the same room, it doesn't remove the curse state until you go to the next room. Okay, let's use the two of diamonds now. That doubles our cash. Skittle. Oh, we got it. Alright, cool. <sighs> Okay, well let's go check out the, uh, let's go check out the shop. We got enough money to make that worthwhile now. We got lots of keys, so might be a bomb in there that we can use, or spirit heart. Ooh, mom's purse. This is a good item. Allows us to carry two trinkets. That's real good. Okay. I was hoping for a bomb, we didn't get one, but no biggie. Um... Alright, so let's play the fortune teller machine, see if we can't rack up some spirit hearts here. Or get some trinkets to put in Mom's purse. World card, that reveals everything on the map. We've already revealed the whole map, so it doesn't matter. But we'll carry that with us. Maybe use it on the next floor. The Skatol power-up that I got earlier, that makes it so that all flies are now non-aggressive to me. It's a decent power-up to get. It removes a lot of the threat from the some of the levels. Come on, give me some spirit hearts. Nope. Question authority. You will die alone. That's a shitty fortune. You are throwing your life away. Yeah, I know. But, you know, people on YouTube think I'm cool, so... Nothing. Oh my god. Come on. Ugh. Okay. That was awful. So we're not going into any of the secret rooms here. The only thing really left for us to do is to go to the boss. Uh, I want to open use, but never mind. Okay, so our boss is Monstro again, and now we have to get a lot closer to him. But on the plus side, we're doing more damage. The problem with my reflection now is that we have to stand pretty much within his shot range in order to hit him. Did I mention that I hate my reflection? I hate my reflection. Things I do for you people, I swear to god. Okay, there we go. Grape juice. Range plus tears up. That actually increases our damage stats. Let me just have a look at damage here. Damage is up to four. That's basically because of the curse state. Tear rate is up to three. Movement is up to four. Again, that's because of curse state. So, that's all we can really do on this level. Let's carry on. Ah, uh, the toilet dream again. Alright, shop to the right. And we got bee liquors. Pop these guys. And the secret room is to the left. Again, we haven't found a single bloody bomb yet, so... The Splunker hat... Proving not to be as useful. Hang on one sec, sorry, phone.
Oh, I apologize for that. I know, huge dead spot right in the middle of the recording. Very bad form. Sorry, it's tax time here in Canada and I had to straighten out some stuff, but, uh, ugh, real life. Okay, carrying on. Spiders. Ah, god damn it. Oh, taking dumb damage there. Oh, cool. Small rock just appeared. Alright, I guess we must have busted open a secret rock there. That's That worked out pretty well. Oh, god, I hate my reflection. I hate my reflection. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, another spirit heart. Okay, so our permanent curse state is working out pretty well for us so far. More spiders! Hate spiders. Die. Die, 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 die. Oh, god. Okay, I'm getting sloppy here. I need to focus. This, my reflection is throwing me off. Eve. This is just like a combination of all my least. Oh, god damn it, I picked up the heart. Okay, well, that's going to take us out of curse state now. That was really dumb. Uh, Mala booms. These guys explode when they get close. So, you got to be really careful. Okay. And I have a power up that really makes it difficult for me to deal with them. My reflection cuts down my range. Yeah, I promise I'll stop complaining about this eventually. Okay, here we got oils. Oh, bloody hell. Well, on the plus side, they blew open the secret room. Oh, man, I'm taking damage all over the place here, though. I hate how close you have to get everything with this fire reflection power. Ah. And we got a bomb. Okay, let's check out the secret room. Ooh, lots of money. I like that a lot. Alright, we'll pop these fires. Carry on. Now, as you can see, when I popped that, uh, that poop, the fly that came off of it was not aggressive. You would not have hurt me, which is pretty awesome. And I really need to stop taking the stupid damage. Okay. Here we go. Dead bird, do your thing. These guys take a ton of damage. Makes them quite difficult to deal with with Eve. She just does not do much. There's another key. Tinted rock, I'll keep that in mind. Ah, oh, green heads. I hate these guys. They knock your money out when they hit you with their shots or physically. Ah, as you can see. Yep, he's taking my money. Rick bastard. Okay. And they take a ton of damage, and they're just assholes. Okay, super secret rooms down to the south of that area. I'm gonna blow up in this tinted rock right now. And what do you know? There's the small rock. Perfect. We just got it, and already we've got the power up. That's great. As you can see here, let's go to my stat screen. My, tears, my damage stat, which is the sword, would be one normally, but now it's three because the small rock bumps it up by two lines. Um, really quite helpful with Eve because her shot power is just pathetic to begin with. So. Alright, so we got a key. We'll open up the... Oh, God. Seriously? This is Kamikaze. Basically what it does is it allows you to blow yourself up. That's a great power-up, right? Great power up. Bum friend again, tarot card, and a key. Don't really need anything here, so I'm just gonna roll on. Hmm. Wrong way. Let's go fight the boss. Yeah, the kamikaze power basically centers a bomb blast on you, and it does a harder damage to you. Okay. So we're fighting the Blighted Ovum here. This is one boss that will chase you around, and another boss that you can't hurt, who basically flies around, and if he lines you up, he'll do a brimstone shot. The chasing guy leaves a trail of creep behind him. Not that hard to kill, though. But he does occasionally freak out and start moving faster. There's the little guy's shot. Oh, crap. Okay, so we got a health power up. Rotten meat. I'm gonna go blow up in the super secret room. Because I've got this kamikaze power, may as well demonstrate it. Check this out. Boom. I took a heart of damage, and it went off like a bomb. Worth it though. Gives us an eternal heart. We'll carry that through to the next level. And we'll use a bomb to blow up in this tinted rock. Get a spirit heart. And uh, as you can see, carrying that eternal heart through to the next level will give us a full red heart container. So we should have four when we get down there. There we go. Oh, pardon me, five. We have five hearts and 
a spirit heart now, so let's start exploring. Oh, crap. Ah, knew I knew I was gonna get hit there. Got myself trapped between a rock and I oh shit. Yep, those guys. I hate these guys. And with the range problems I'm having now too, it's just not cool. Okay, finish off this last one. And there's a bomb. Okay. Oh, mutant spider. This is an awesome power-up. Turns it into quad shot. You fire slower, but you do you hit you can hit with four shots at once, which makes it very appealing. These enemies ah are from one of Edmund Millen's other games, they're called Gish. They fire in four diagonal directions. And I really shouldn't have gotten hit there, that was quite dumb. Okay, more bee lickers. God, I hate my reflection. I know I promised I would stop bitching about that, but I just can't. Such a terrible power-up. I normally never pick it up, but you know, trying new things. Alright. Cyst in the middle or a boil. Get rid of that. Oh god damn it. Okay. Shit just got real. One more hit and I'm toe. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was a short run. But I figured it would be with Eve. If I hadn't played like a dummy though, I might have been able to make that work. So let's go back to the main menu here. We did not beat Mom. Unlocked a few more things in the collection. We got my reflection. Uh, kamikaze. Mm, what else do we get? Spelunker, how we got in the first one? Dead bird. Mutant spider. Love that power up. Squeezy. So, no new characters unlocked. Unlocked a few things in the collection. Ah, uh, they can't all be winners, I guess. Anyways, join me again next time. If you like the series, please, uh, if you enjoy the series, please like. Uh, subscribe, comment down below, it helps us out a lot. Check us out at the backspace.ca uh, for more gaming content. Uh, we do a, a weekly podcast. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Email us, follow us on Twitter, look us up on Google+, and I'll see you next time. I'm Freaked Out. Have a great day.